We're all attracted to people all the time. What is it that attracts us to others? And what do others find attractive about you? These are some of the questions our team is going to try and answer in this series of videos. With millions of people to choose from, finding that perfect someone shouldn't be that difficult. But the media, social pressures and human nature itself have turned it into a mystery. We're surrounded by manipulated images, celebrity and glossy perfection. We're given rules about dating through books, websites and the press. They all pressure us to conform to an ideal of what is attractive. But what's the truth? It's time for science to tackle the subject. Through a series of experiments, our team are going to piece together some of the clues to this enormously complex phenomenon. And in these videos, they will explore the science of attraction. The person we fall in love with, or form a relationship with, or even just spend time with, is an important choice. And some people find the process of developing those relationships easier than others. A whole industry of self-help books, websites, even courses has developed, claiming that there are methods to attracting a partner and being the perfect date. Do the techniques work? And by using them, are you just manipulating other people? In this video, three guys and three girls will be taking part in some speed dating to help us find out if our sense of attraction can be tricked and what do people really find attractive beyond looks. But first, here's Kat. A quick search of online bookstores for self-help books reveals 19,250 different titles. People are very keen to make themselves thinner, happier, more appealing and better at meeting people. So what is the truth about communication and dating? Some people seem to be able to talk to anyone and build that connection easily, while others panic at the thought. So here's an experiment to test some dating techniques and find out what really works when it comes to dating and communication. To do this experiment, we've invited three girls and three guys to partake in some speed dating, science of attraction style. Our singletons will be meeting at this lovely manor house. With its beautiful gardens, it makes the perfect romantic location. So, without further ado, let's meet our lovely ladies. Hi, I'm Catherine from Ashford. Hi, I'm Maru from Manor Park. Hi, I'm Sarah from Watford. We've set up the perfect location for our speed dating. The couples will be having a romantic picnic in the grounds of the manor house, complete with strawberries, bubbly and chocolates. We've got our ladies and our romantic location, so it's time to meet the boys, who come with a catch. What the girls don't know is that our boys are actors and that they've been given specific character traits to incorporate into their rapport during the dates. Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm date A and I'm going to be using dating techniques. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm date B and I'm going to be Mr. Average Normal Nice Guy. I'm Oliver. I'm going to be date C and I'm going to be as sleazy as I can. As the boys take their places, remember they are each playing a specific role so that we can find out what kind of behaviour, conversation and social attributes are most attractive to a potential date. Date A will be using dating techniques to try and get the best of himself across to the girls. Look out for his use of open body language and leaning back to show confidence and control. He'll also tease his dates to show a playful, flirty attitude. So you look all sweet and everything on top, but secretly you're a bit of a bad girl. <laughs> Date B will be playing the neutral role, neither flirting nor acting disinterested. And Date C is our bad boy of dating. He'll act overconfident. You have a nice figure, by the way. He'll be happy to lie in an attempt to show high social value. Because, like I said, I write and I produce. OK, then. Um, you know, TV shows and films as well, so I'm, I'm in America quite a bit. And he'll treat his dates mean, but will it keep them keen? I'd like to ideally set up my own theatre company. OK. <laughs> right. um, yeah, something. An original idea. <laughs> now we've met the girls and our role-playing guys, it's time to get them dating.
To keep things simple, we're going to focus on one of our guys at a time and see how they get on with the three girls. Let's start with date A. So, uh, what do you do for a living, sir? Uh, I'm just about to go and start studying directing. Directing? Oh, uh, cool. Yeah. So, uh, do you like bossing people around then? <laughs> Yeah. What sort of uh, music and stuff do you like? Are you, you into uh, like dancey stuff and whatever? Uh, yeah. You like to shake your booty? <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> definitely. So tell me, what are the top three things you look for in a guy? Top three things I look for in a guy. Has to have a good sense of humour. That's a given. Intelligent. Check. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a year out. Do yeah. a bit of travelling or something? Yeah, I want to go to Australia. And... Same here. Oh, really? Australia's a wicked place to go. Yeah. A bit I of want... an adventure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, wicked. Oh, uh, I think our time's almost up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So, that was Mr A. Was his open body language, innuendo and confidence enough for him to win a date? Well, we'll find out later. But now, for date B. Hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Alex. Alex, nice to meet you. And Catherine. Hi, Catherine. Nice to meet you. Tell me about yourself then. Short and snappy. In a sentence, um, fun, loving, easygoing guy. I would say help yourself, but like, they've had their way with them. Well, you know, apparently, like flies and wasps, they like throw up on their food before they eat it. <sighs> That's horrible. <laughs> yeah. So what sort of uh, direction do you want to do? Like uh, Stage. Stage? Yeah. Oh, wicked. <laughs> How about you? What are you up to? Uh, I currently work in a theatre. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, That's good. Yeah. Would you like comedy or drama? Um, musicals. Oh, musicals. <laughs> oh, really? I like anything Mel Brooks. Have you ever heard of Young Frankenstein? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen this in the producers. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, that's it. Time's up. <laughs> Was Mr B's take-me-as-I-am relaxed attitude a winner with the girls? We'll find out soon. But now it's time for our no-holds-barred bad boy, Mr C. Hiya. Hi. What's your name? I'm Oliver. Oliver. I'm, I'm Catherine. Nice Catherine. to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Do you want to kind of come and sit a little bit closer? <laughs> OK, then. Fine. I don't know. There's a little bit of distance there. Isn't it? <laughs> so, so, how do you want to greet each other? Just a shake of the hand yeah. or something? Yeah. Start with that. <laughs> a little kiss on the cheek. Oh, I see. You're quick. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> That's not nice. You, you just poured yourself, but you didn't even ask me. Well, I, I was getting to that. I was oh getting God. to that. I was just so, I was just so enraptured. Okay. By your presence. Okay. So. Well, well styled out. <laughs> you like to travel. I like to travel. I've travelled quite a bit actually. Okay. Where, where have you been? My my work kind of takes me all over the world, really. Okay. Like, particularly in America. I I both write and produce. Um, various projects in TV and film. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. That is interesting. Yeah. So uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm just about to go and start studying uh, directing. All right, OK. Are you good at it? Of course I am. I'll be confident, yes. Uh -huh. Brilliant. Uh -huh. that, was, that was a joke. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Good girl. <laughs> See you later. Oh, my. So, will Mr C's overconfident, space-invading, treat a mean but keep him keen attitude be a winner? Well, let's find out. Um, I'd probably choose A, or I probably liked him the most. Oh, really? He just seemed a bit more, like, you know, open, wanted to get to know me. Although B, like, was really close, though, because B was really... Like chatty. I'd, I'd, I'd pick B definitely because I like I had so much in common with him. Is that every further then? B? Yeah, B. And yeah. like um the others I just felt so uncomfortable with them. Oh, wow. C, like, I felt so uncomfortable. Oh, so uncomfortable with C. Actually, wait. <laughs> I prefer C. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know, he just like a lot of eye contact, a lot of compliments and I think just... he was really mean to me actually. It still gives me like, oh. You know? Shivers I, down I, like, I, like, I did think that B was nicer. But I just didn't like the fact that he was a bit too shy. Hey. I think this is bizarre <laughs> how we all chose different, different people. people. Oh, yeah. yeah. I put Mr. B first, uh, then Mr. A, and then Mr. C. For Mr. B, what I really liked was um, actually, yeah, how natural he was. I felt like our date went really quickly because we just had so much we could talk about. It would have to be Mr. A first, Mr. B second, and Mr. C last. Guy number A, he was all right to talk to. He seemed like a bit of a laugh. First will be Mr C. Second will be Mr A. And third will be Mr B. Mr C was top of my list. Um, he was very intriguing, very charming. It just left me intrigued and wanting to know more. 
So Mr A got one first place and two second places, making him today's winner overall. Mr B got one first place and one second place. And Mr C got one first place and no second places. But each of our guys got a date. Let's see what the boys' reactions were to the results. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. Well done, boys. <laughs> Even him. <laughs> to be honest, I was a little bit surprised that, that there was any kind of interest at all, because I thought I was a little bit scary at times, but there you go. But I don't know, people are different. They like different things, don't they? So, crazy. Yeah, it's a bit of a shame, actually. I thought I would have done better, but it's all right. <laughs> One always fair. I can't complain at that. It is a victory for the normal guy. That's what this is. Having made their choices based on the dates, we revealed the truth about the guys. You know what? Hearing about Mr C, I do feel manipulated and cheated, and I just... I feel really gullible. <laughs> <laughs> but I would, I mean, you know I, what? I, I mean, I'm like, A seemed okay though still. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is bad. using the technique in a, in a right, positive yeah. way. Um, I do definitely think A used the dating techniques really well. Because yeah. yeah. when I think back now, he was relaxed, he was confident. Now that I heard about C, <laughs> I think C was a bit too overconfident, too much in your face. Yeah, yeah. definitely. But, but like for me, it's so much more. It's so much better natural, and that, I think that's oh, why I like yeah. being. Like, yeah. You want them to be your, themselves anyway. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You don't want to date someone fake because exactly. then what, what, what are you going to find? Dating techniques can help improve communication and allow people to try and show the best of themselves. But they can also be used to manipulate. Being yourself is clearly the best thing to do, and improving your communication skills can only help. Lying and using dating techniques to manipulate may fool people into liking you for an instant, but in the long term, the truth will come out. So the techniques taught in dating books and seminars may help to some extent with building confidence, but they aren't a system for dating. The ultimate truth is to be yourself and to have confidence in who you are. To find out more and test out our chat-up line generator, go to scienceofattraction.co.uk.